All right, I want to make a video about how to improvise on jazz chords without using any licks, scales, or arpeggios. This is something that took me a long time to discover, and only after learning a bunch of uh, Wayne Shorter tunes did I realize that this is what he's doing, this is what I think he's doing uh, for his approach on what to play on a given chord. So let's start with an E minor chord, standard voicing. Uh, the E minor chord is really the two chord of the key of D major, so what we're going to do is start with the D major triad, and just think of those notes as the center of the chord, and then we're going to add uh, diatonic upper neighbors to them. It's a diatonic upper neighbor to the to the D note. So this is kind of the basic pattern, I guess. So you're really just composing in real time and uh, and thinking of the. As the center of the whole thing. And even when you play um, chromatic things, they still are using the D triad as the basis for it all. If you just play this way, you don't need any licks or scales, uh, and you can just compose music in real time. And it makes it really easy to rhyme shapes, which is what makes jazz solo sound coherent. Is you know if you if you're able to take an idea and uh, play something that's the same contour as it, but in different notes. So. And I guess that's kind of the master pattern right there to me, is, the, uh, is that one. But it's all based off of your basic uh, D major shape. When you start to apply it over shifting chord changes, uh, key changes, then it becomes even uh, even more useful because it allows you to get right to the center of each chord. And uh, again, the center is not the necessarily named after the root of the chord. Like this is an E flat minor seven chord, but to me, it's D flat major. <laughs> Say Wayne Shorter's Limbo. The first chord is E flat minor. So I think D flat major. And the second chord is F sharp sus, which is from the key of B major. And then uh, C major, which I think of as the when I see a major chord, I always think of it as the four chord of the key that I want. So, for example, if it's C major, I think of a G major arpeggio. And then uh, F sus, which is from the key of uh, B flat major. And then um, B flat sus, which is from the key of A major. And then uh, D major. So again, with the major chord, I think down a fourth, 
major. So D major to me is, is uh, A major. It sounds prettier that way since you're playing off of a uh, shape that's other than the one that the root is built off of. So uh, anyway, that's how I how I uh, play music without having to rely on licks and arpeggios and scales. Those things actually are not as useful as people would think. Constructing melodies out of triads and diatonic upper neighbors uh, seems to be the best sounding way to do things. Thanks for watching.